hi girls this is Shaila I'm back with another tutorial today I am going to do mauve makeup I am going to do this glossy eye and I am going to share with you something that I am really inspired by um, this is the look that my favorite Ali Andrea did a few days ago the lavender eyes and I wanted to try the glossy eye for a long time and she shared all the techniques so she's one of my favorite uh, beauty bloggers and I love her techniques because they are really uh, worthy and they end up being the same so I'm going to do the mauve instead because the shadow that she used uh, I had the same one but in mauve not in lavender and I wanted to do the all of the look in the mauve as well I have done my foundation contour now I'm going to proceed to the high um, to my blusher for the blusher I'm going to use this mauve blusher and for the powder I'm going to use suku powder brush take some tap off the excess go on top of your contour we are going to take all the three shades in mauve today although I'm wearing a black and a white outfit I do not want to wear any black on um, white makeup on my eyes I wanted to do something different and this glossy eye has been a dream let's say I will share with you in a few hours how this glossy look uh, stayed and did the did it crease or not which I'm pretty sure will not after all the precautions we have taken so I get pretty dark on the mauve and I blend out like this going in a this is like a um, triangular shape okay. I know it looks pretty pretty dark it's not that dark it will blend out in a few minutes just leave it like this and I start with the eyes for the eyes I will use P. Louise base use any color of the P. Louise base you have they are very highly recommended because um, there is nothing better than those out in the market honestly so i will blend out carefully on the whole eye inner corner these little bases are completely smudge proof they do the job really really well not very expensive either but they take normally to Pakistan deliveries through a reliable vendor. We will give them a few minutes before they set. Now before they set, then we will be using Huda Beauty Melted Shadow. You can use any shade. I am going for uh, this shade which is called um, Bubblegum. Ah, beautiful name going to take the matte side and I am going
along the lash line. Once this is done, take a small smudger, something like this. Pull. And like this. The wing is created. To clean the corner, I will just go in a little bit like this to clean the corner. Let me apply my mascara and I will be back. So I have applied the lip liner. I used uh, this liner by Kat Von D. Now I'm going to use the Infinity Gloss on top of my eyes. So this is by Linda Holberg. Flat brush. Take some on it. And it goes on the eyes. I take some more so it makes the eyes nice and glossy I don't know if you can see the effect how it goes now for the lipstick I will be going in with this Jeffree Star pretty dramatic and I will be topping it with another one now for my blusher we were here that we were discussing the blusher is pretty dark so we will take a flat brush not a flat brush not a clean brush and I will blend the two together and what it will do it will take the extra color off and it will make the contour and the blusher one so once this is done I will take a highlighter which is this one I'm using today Tap off the excess, go on top for here. Because the application of the highlighter also lightens the blusher a bit if you go on top. So, this is a very beautiful shade to use with this blusher. It totally complements the mauve that I have used. A bit here. Here. so this is almost the finished look i was using one more mauve shade on top of my lipstick to mute it down a little bit let me find it give me a minute so i found it it's another lipstick by jeffree star it's in a lighter mauve So girls, this is the finished look of today's makeup. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will be sharing how this uh, uh, glossy eye lasted. And uh, it is a very editorial look. It is not for everyday use. But uh, we do need to share new things, uh, learn new things from others and appreciate them. Thank you, Aliandra, for this amazing, amazing tip. And I really enjoyed doing this tutorial. I hope you like it too. So thank you very much for watching. Please follow me on my platforms. I will be really obliged. Love you all.